Hey guys, back with some more load development on my uh, 7 PRC. And so where I'm at now is I showed you guys my fire forming loads. I've gone and fire formed them all and uh, I've annealed them and I've resized them and I have to find my touch point now with my 180 hybrids is what I usually shoot. So that's what I'm going to find my touch point. The touch point I found earlier was with some fire forming bullets. So I use uh, something a little cheaper and uh, just to fire form with. But now I need to find my touch point again. And so a lot of you guys have already seen this. But I take the fire pin out of my bolt along with the ejector. So uh, there's no tension on this bolt at all, nothing, it just falls. And uh, if I take a case that I've resized, hopefully it will just fall too. Okay. Nothing on the bolt at all. I don't want any resistance at all. Especially for when you're finding a touch point and things like that. So now I've got this sort of close, but it's not all the way just right yet. But to find your touch point, you put your bullet in the case, and now you can see I've got tension on there, and it clicks at the top. So I know that bullet's too far into the rifle. So I've got to move them in a die in just a little bit from where I had it. I'm going to go five thousandths just to see what, what happens. Bump it back and see what happens this time. Still too tight. So that's what you got to do is just kind of creep up on it. Sometimes it takes a little while until you get real close. I'm going to do 5,000 more. See how that looks. We're getting closer. But it's still too tight. I'm going to go like three thousandths. See how that goes. It's close, but it's still in a little too tight. You hear that click at the top? You feel that click at the top? What you want to do when you really start getting close to start pulling back on that handle but you can still see it's clicking pretty good if you pull back on the handle it'll give you a little better reading right at the very end I'm going to go two thousandths more see where we're at now Just barely touching. I'm guessing if I go another thousandths, I'll be there. There we go. If I leave the handle without pulling it back, there's a click but if I pull back on that handle there's nothing so I know that's right at my touch point right there so now I've got a number to work off with so I can start my load development the next thing I wanted to do is go do a powder test with all these new fired cases and with my bullet so I can uh, head on out and uh, and do a powder test see if I can find a, a node in there that halfway is accurate and then I can go back up and load up whatever that is and go run a, a simple test with my neck all my different neck clearances and see which one looks the best so it's kind of a, a three firing deal first you got to fire form then you got to do a powder test hopefully the powder test goes well and I'll find something a nice big node in there somewhere and then I can load them up one more time and go shoot them with all the same powder for all of them and uh, during these tests, when you got different thicknesses, 
you might have to play with your uh, bushings a little bit to make sure you got enough neck tension on these things um, so either squeeze them down extra tight and then mandrel them back out to where you want them or just use your bushings to get them where you want them but one way or another you do got to adjust because if you've got you know clearances of up to three thousandths you know one bushing is going to be real tight and next one's going to be way way too loose so you have to adjust your bushings in order to get try to get the same neck tension on all of them so you get an accurate test so that's how that goes and another thing i wanted to mention i'm trying out a couple of new dies that i've never used before so this die here is an eric cortina die and uh, Jake Christofferson reamed it out and it's just a standard resizing die no bushings so what it does is it squeeze the neck down and the whole body and then what you do is you mandrel out to whatever neck tension you want so it it squeezes and this particular one squeeze it down to about a a 305 or a 306, 305 and a half, something like that. Then I want to mandrel it back out to whatever it is I want, a 310 or so. So I'll have to use like a a different uh, whatever size, whatever size. It would be like a 284 bushing in there to squeeze it back out to whatever neck tension I want. 284 or 283 or whatever, whatever mandrel it is to get the right right neck tension on there so I'll have to play with that later um, but anyway this first initial deal there's my touch point again wanted to show you guys that it seems like I get asked that a lot about how I find my touch point and that's pretty much it in another video I showed you how to take your bolt apart which is pretty easy and how to take the ejector out of there so if you haven't seen that go back through the other videos so you can see how to take that apart but that's how I find my touch point and now I'm ready pretty much for primers and uh, powder and seat my bullets and head back out. And I've said in the past, usually when I start all these tests, I start with my bullet ten thousandths into the rifling. Ten thousandths in, that's a good place to start. And I'll fine tune my uh, seating depth later, but I like to shoot into the rifling. It won't stick if you're only going in ten thousandths you know if you're going in thirty thousandths or something like that yeah it'll probably stick but i don't go in near that far i keep everything nice and safe but i like it into the rifle and i don't want to jump the bullets i tried jumping when i first started shooting and my accuracy was all over the place i never could get anything consistent i have one good target and three bad ones you know once i started loading into the lands everything kind of mellowed out everything was way more consistent so that's the way i do that so i'm coming along here we're getting there brass is fire formed ready to load and uh, i'll show you my speeds and my nodes on my target here as soon as i get that done probably tomorrow or the next day i don't know it's raining real hard out there so hopefully i'll get a dry day to go do that but that's it for this one thanks <laughs>